Now, this is the water sprites, the level 6 hunt. Now, I'm going to start this video, this uh, part off from the bat, the Bannock. Um, what, it, what I'd recommend you doing if you do this now is TP into the bent branch, or if you're coming down from New Gridania again, come straight down to the Bannock. Come into the Bannock, which just it looks like a little sort of training camp. You'll end up coming down here for a few quests, a story quest anyway, so what you'd do is come down here, I'll go off my mount, go through the uh, felled tree, into the jaded thick. Now, the Chigo is a here as well, from the previous video, well from before I should say. <laughs> you were level 5 water sprites, now there's a few of them. You've got your level 5 there, is that low, there's a level 6, if you're feeling a little daring. If you're feeling even more daring, you can uh, go down to where the level 5 Chigoes were, to the level uh, the level 9 Chigoes, to the level 5 water sprites. Now, can I... see if I can... wrong, wrong enemy. <laughs> see if I can attack one without killing it. No, damn it. They are hostile. So, oh well, no, water sprites are not hostile, so, so if you're, even if you're a lower level, they won't attack you unless they're provoked, so you're sorted there, you'll be fine. Uh, for this one, you need three again. Have you noticed the, uh, as the level, as the enemy level increases, you get a bit more HP? Now, one thing to know about the sprites is they have a maximum range, so if you if you melee, it won't matter to you, but if you're... A white mage like I am, they have a maximum range. Let's just see if we can. Have we got anything to change? No, I have to write. So, for example, we have a. White, uh, conjurers have a maximum range of like, I don't know, 30 meters, is it? 30? 25. 25, yes. So, we can attack from range, and so can they. But they have a maximum range, so if you are sort of dying, run away, but don't stop. If you've got potions, use your potions, because they can still attack you from a from quite a distance. So just be wary of that. Right. The next one will be the Midgey Swarm. Right, now for the Midge Swarm, which is the level 7 hunt. Once again, you need 3. What I would advise doing is going to Old Gridania. Teleport to new or walk into it if you want. Um, go then walking through to old. Then come through the yellow serpent gate of the north shroud to here. Let's make it bigger there because if you teleport to Falgord Float, all this here is like level 30, 22 upwards. So what you're going to do is you're going to follow this road down to the tree speak sign, and you're going to go up into Peace Garden. They're about here, Peace Garden. 2621, the coordinates are roughly. They're in Peace Garden. So uh, we're going to head up there now. Oh, look at that. The, uh, P the um, micro chews are here as well. There we go, the midge swarms are there. So, uh, yeah, be careful because this fate does happen quite a lot. So, uh, just be careful of that. So, this is going to be two hunts in one, I suppose. So, you've got the micro chews, micro, yeah, micro, I'm going to call them micro chews, and the midge swarms. And I am currently 2621, which is up here in Peace Garden. So you want to come from Old Gridania, round through Tree Speak, straight up into Peace Garden, and they're all across here. Midge Swarms are close quarters attackers, and I believe the Micro Chews are as well, but they, well, up to a range of 3 or 5. Quite easy to kill, recommend level 6 to 8, and for, those, for both of those you need 3. You get 1,100 XP for the Midge Swarms and 1.3k for the Micro Chews. They're up here in Peace Garden, 27, 21, 26, 21. 
Alright. Now the next video will be... We'll find out. We'll see what's coming next. Oh, no, wait. Is it... Um... Yeah, it's, a, it's uh, the Swifid Swarms next. The Sifid Swarms. Right, now I'm going to show you the uh, Swifid Swarm. Yeah, I can't pronounce that. But anyway, that's the Central Shroud at Green Tier. Now these are, in obviously, in the Central Shroud. So you'd want to make your way from the Jaded to Thick. I started from the Bannock. Crossed the uh, little path. Now I'm going to cross the little stream. Now just watch out for the Black Fs. I can't pronounce that either. Because they are hostile. By this time you should be at least level 10. So you're going to head into Greens here. As if you go into Spirit Bond. Spirit Hold, sorry. So be careful because these uh, Chigos are hostile as well. And your Sifid Swarms are here. So they are there. These trickster imps, uh, you may need to remember these from later on. There's more swarms inside. Now, the, the Sifid swarms are not ranged attackers, despite what you'd think. They actually all hit you at once, in a way, sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, in here. So, if you need trickster imps, they're in there as well. That is the Sifid, Sifid swarms. Three of them once again. Just gonna attack one of them because, well, I feel like it. Well, yeah. So they're at 27, 24. Ah, oh, there we go. That's something that I found out now. Hostile to other things as well. So if if you do attack the swarms, just be careful. As the uh, trickster imps will also aggro to you. Oh, oh. there we go. So try and find one on its own, but that's very, very unlikely. What I'm going to try and do is I'm looking up. No, you'll aggro three at once. So just be careful of that. You'll be, you can heal yourself, so you'll be fine. So they are at 27, 24. This whole spirit hold area at the bottom of green here. I'll make the map a little bigger so you can see it. Right there. Right, the next will be the Northern Vulture. Right, now this is the last hunt in the rank 1 hunt log for the uh, the White Mage. Conjurer, sorry, I'm just too used to being a White Mage. Right, now for this, you need to go to the East Shroud. Teleport there by all means. Or, it's in my opinion, if you're doing this, it's safer to go to Old Gridania. Let's make this map bigger. It's safer to go to Old Gridania and go to the ferry docks here, top right corner of Old Gridania. Use the west west shore pier to go to the East Shroud, which will take you to here. Now we're in the East Shroud. When you TP, you'll go to Hawthorne Hut. If you go to Sweet Bloom Pier, you just come down here. Let me show you. Come down here a little bit to where well, that's not going to be there. Ignore the little fate symbol. But if you come straight down here. You will see on your right, Northern Northern Vultures there. That are level 11. Now, they are obviously... These are hostile. And you will gain aggro. Usually, well, it'll be 2 to 3, depending on what they're near. But once you've, once you've done them, if you're feeling a little bit more risky, and you can manage to get down here, follow the path. Um... The wild hoglets are also hostile, so be careful. So once you've made it past the level 11 vultures and swarms, you can also come down here, if you follow the path, foot from um, from the honey yard all the way down. There is level 14 ones, I believe. You make it past all of these. They're a little bit closer to Hawthorne Hut. There they are, level 13 vultures. If you if you feel daring enough, you can take those on as well. They are directly below the honey yard sign. But I recommend if you just if you're just about to do this, you do the ones just above the full flower full flower coom char. Coordinates 1124. 
I'll run back there now. Call that 1123-ish. 12, 23, these are. 11 and 12, 23. They are. Let's open the map. They are there. They are level 11 ones are here. Level 13 ones are there. So, you can tell it to you which ones you do. I would recommend the, obviously, the level 11 ones to begin with. Now, um, so once again, use the Sweet Bloom Pier from Old Gridania, which is the West Shore Pier from Gridania, to go eat to the East Shroud to Sweet Bloom Pier. Cost you about 10 GP. 10 Jill. Whatever. Gil, Jill, whichever you want to say. But that is all of the hunts from the rank 1 for the Conjurer. Now, I will be doing the rank 2 when I get around to doing it. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. It's been quite helpful to you new players. Or those of you that actually just completely skipped the hunts. Which I did on the other characters. Now... Once the Conjurer ones are done, I'll be moving on to the Warrior, also known as the Marauder. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.